So today we're going to take a walk around this 2014 Bayliner 170 bow rider. We'll start out here on the outside. You'll notice that this is a used boat, so you're going to see some scuffs on it. Again, just a few little scuffs, nothing I see of too deep that can't get out with some wet sand or some compound. These right here just take a little bit of polish, probably come off. I do notice down here the lower part of the hull does show a little bit of discoloration um, from sitting in the water for a few days at a time. Uh, you'll notice we did put on brand new tires here on the trailer. Taking a look underneath. Springs look good on the trailer, so does the axle. Back here to the engine. Some scuffs on the lower unit, but that's to be expected. A little bit of growth back there on our power trim and tilt. Now we're coming around here to the starboard side. Again, a little bit of discoloration on the bottom of the hull. Starboard side trailer wheel again new tire there looking underneath at these springs all look good brackets look great front of the trailer One thing to note, uh, the customer did not have the covers, but we actually had some old covers to a similar boat. So you can see most of the snaps, it is snapped down. Most of the stamps do work. Again, this is not an exact fit of the cover, but it works. Um, the one thing, because this is a different boat uh, and from the uh, cover this boat's originally to, um, it does not have the snaps here on the back. You can see with the ski pylon, typically there's a cutout up there around the ski pylon to go around. Uh, if you wanted to, that could be modified by someone local up there in your area to make that work. But in general, it does cover the boat uh, good enough. Again, you can see right there where uh, the ski pylon, it just doesn't wrap around the ski pylon. Now we're going to take a look at the engine. Uh, we did just do a comprehensive 100-hour uh, service on it. Engine looks clean. No signs of concern. We'll go ahead and go ahead and hop on inside. Here's our aft three seats. I don't see any signs of stitching coming apart or anything. He did have the cooler option. He put little rod holders on it there. This one speaker is messed up, but the stereo does work. Taking a look at the dash. This is an older Garmin, um, but that does work. Ski locker storage with a few vests and a throwable. There's actually a fender up there too as well. Take a look at the driver's seat. Again, functionally everything's all good. I see a little sign of a rust spot. If we take a look at the passenger seat, I'm starting to see a little bit of uh, mold that may come off with some hard scrubbing. Going to look at the back right here. We see some signs, something 
rub there up against that. There's your stereo. Walking forward. There is a few spots here. Now if we look close that we can see in the upholstery. And forward. If you look close you can see a few spots. Almost looks like some bird poop or something. I've gotten a lot of them up using a magic eraser. Uh, again, uh, with some real serious detailing. Uh, some of that stuff might come up, but some of it might not. There is a little bit of corrosion on the light right there that you can see. And it does have the stern light, which is what this big bar right here is, is your stern light. Thank you for watching.